Governor Brian Kemp and members of the General Assembly took a victory lap this afternoon as they outlined their wins in this year's amended budget. The spending plan for the rest of this fiscal year includes additional money for school security grants and health care. Blackside political reporter Claire Sims joins us live from the state capitol. And Claire, this budget also gives money back to taxpayers. Yeah, that is one of the big headlines here for Georgians this spring. For the second year in a row, the state is going to be putting money back in your pocket. Surrounded by state lawmakers here at the Capitol this afternoon, Governor Brian Kemp held a news conference highlighting the changes to this year's state budget. The governor signed the amended budget this past Friday. The spending plan includes $115 million for school security grants for every public school in the state and $3.5 million in grants to increase student capacity at nursing programs. But one of the most talked about aspects of the little budget is the approximately $2 billion going back to taxpayers. Georgia homeowners will get a credit of about $500 on their property tax bill, and the state will also issue tax refunds of $250 for single filers and $500 for joint filers. Georgia, as we say all the time, is the best state to live, work, and raise a family. And it is because of the choices made in this budget by these group of legislators that are here today. And I look forward to working with them to keep it that way. So the money for those tax refunds, that's the big question here, right? Those are already in the budget that Governor Kemp signed. But there is a bill the state Senate has to approve authorizing those tax refunds to go out. We're told that as soon as they approve it and Governor Kemp signs it, those tax refunds will start to go out to Georgians in about six weeks. We are live at the state capitol. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. All right.